Welcome to Talk of the Town. This is an official podcast from the town of Pine Top Lakeside to expand upon community topics shared through the Talk of the Town newsletter. Here we will give you more detail, respond to questions, and deliver information about community news and happenings. Hey, it's Rob Hefner here for the Talk of the Town, and we're easing into summer. Well, you know, we go full blast. We had like a 42-degree day morning the other morning for the Balloon Fest, and then boom, 90 degrees. So I've got with me Chief Morgan with the uh, Pine Top Fire. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Good morning. Good morning. And the reason we're bringing you in is you have an event coming up. We're going to get past all the big events, uh, the, the blast for a little bit, and then we calm down for a little bit. But during all of this, we've moved. We've had some red flags. Yes, sir. We've moved into stage one, fire restrictions. Yes, sir. And we also, this was already planned, but uh, it's that time to really, really think about fire safety, right? Yeah, absolutely. And and this is an annual event for us here in the White Mountains because we live in what's called a wildland urban interface. So wildfire is part of, of our living here in the in the White Mountains. It's just something that we need to embrace. Part of embracing that is understanding what exactly that means. What does wildfire risk in the community mean to you as a property owner? So annually we do this event this year. It's on Saturday, July 15th at Blue Ridge Elementary School. Starts at 930 runs to about 3.30, and and it's a discussion and essentially a mini expo on everything about wildfire and how to reduce the risk for yourself as a property owner. Very cool. Okay, just to make sure, where is Blue Ridge Elementary School? Porter Mountain. Okay, that's Porter the Mountain Porter Mountain. Mountain the roundabout right by the uh, Humane Society. The controversial roundabout, and by the way, they, they've got funding to fix that, just, <laughs> just so everybody knows as you're you know getting aggravated by going around it. They do. Okay. Yeah, we have to understand the things that we need to do. Um, that has to do with creating a defensible space. That uh, has to do with things that we do and think about things that we do, like burning materials outside and uh, what that does for people and what, what it can do for property, right? Absolutely. So, you know, in our business, we talk about a wildland season. Um as uh, whatever your belief is on climate change, you know, something is changing within our environment and that season has extended. This year, the White Mountains got a little bit of reprieve. You know, we experienced a wonderful winter, a little bit of an early wet spring, uh, which has delayed our fire season this year here in the White Mountains. But wildfire is always a danger. Right. That doesn't mean that things won't burn. And we've experienced small roadside fires, et cetera, uh, whether it's caused by change, discarded smoking material, those fires still exist. For us, they just don't get catastrophic or significant this year. Right. Um, we are in stage one fire restrictions. Our conditions are changing rapidly every day as we get warmer and uh, the monsoon uh, has been delayed this year. Uh, yep. So all those things impact our little micro force on our individual property. So we have to be diligent in making sure that we're uh, protecting our properties, doing the right things, uh, using the tool of fire respectfully uh, on our individual properties. You mentioned uh, burning as an example. So today we're in a red flag warning day. Uh, and that means we shut down burning, even though it's a practice that we like to have for property owners to right. be able to take a take care of leaf litter, needle cast, etc. on days like today. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Right. And you shouldn't stand outside your vehicle and smoke your cigarettes either, you know? <laughs> no, nope. that's probably one of the uh, number one ways of roadside fires, that and chains. Yeah. If you take a drive down uh, to Phoenix and you go down the B-line with that 87, you head out of Payson and you go down there, you'll see on the right side as you head down the scarred forest again Yes. from a cigarette. Yep. So uh, one cigarette. Yeah crazy. Yes. Uh, it's it's an important thing to think about. And if you've never been around, you know, a few years back, I did a thing, video coverage with uh, actually with Sholo Fire at that point in time. We went out and we said, look, here's what happens with a fire if you don't do the fire right. And the spark gets out and they put it in the thing. And I could not believe how the, the we're at the, in, the, in the full hollow area. And they, they surrounded a great big area. And I'm like, I don't know what they're doing exactly. And it went poof. And I mean, the, how quickly it was spreading was a little bit 
daunting. And you think, oh, no, I'd be able to stomp on it. No. Yeah, our fine fuels, it moves very rapidly and with a little bit of wind. And I'm talking as little as three to five miles an hour. It's enough to get that uh, beyond your capabilities of stomping it out. Yeah. And if you don't think we have three to five miles per hour wind, well, yeah, you're wrong. Yeah. yeah, (laughs) You're wrong. That's on a non-red flag day. Exactly. Yeah. Anything else, people? So once again, we'll just go over the details. It's at the Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge Elementary School on Porter Mountain Ranch Road. And it starts at 930 on July 15th and goes to 330. Awesome. Anything else we need people to know? Yeah, just come out and visit because we could spend the entire discussion on on how to reduce wildfire risk. But I'd rather have you come and see us in person. We've got free food, face painting, lots of activities for the entire family. It's It's a a block party time and time to come out and learn. Yes, sir. Thank you once again, the uh, fire chief. That's uh, Chief Morgan. Appreciate your time here. Thank you, Rob. Everybody be good. Have fun out there. Be safe. And uh, we'll see you soon.